Hi guys, we're here from Phone Arena. I'm going hands on the Lenovo Zook ZUKZ2 Pro, which was announced back in uh, April. And this is uh, one of the first uh, phones to be announced with uh, 6 gigabytes of RAM and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 Plus 100. The unit we are having is only having about 4 gigs of RAM though. So this is the uh, Zook Z2 powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 processor, Zook Z2 Pro. 4 gigs of RAM, 4 gigs of storage. And I have a 5.2 inch screen on the front. It's got this new ZUK OS, which is uh, replacing the CMOS they had before. Uh, let's actually go into the about screen one more time. So it's running on Android 6.0 Marshmallow with the ZUI, uh, which is replacing the CM uh, Cyanogen mod just had on the Zoo Z1. As you can see, it's got a 30 megapixel camera along with a LED flash on the back. Seems like a heart rate monitor is there as well. This is a black variant of the device. There is also a white version, and it's pretty glossy. And it's got a microphone on the top and uh, you have type c port on the bottom along with the headphone jack and another microphone and uh, you have a fingerprint sensor right on the home key uh, so as you can see you have the lock uh, power key and the uh, volume rocker the front you have a 8 megapixel camera and uh, this is the zui or <laughs> zook os and uh, yep so pretty interesting device for the price uh, pretty nicely done the bezels are really tiny on the sides of the screen and it's got a 3100 mAh battery on the inside and supports Qualcomm quick charge 3.0 technology and uh, I kind of the phone was dead because they didn't have a type-c connector here and I managed to power it up to 10% in no time uh, for filming this video so this is the first time you're getting a hands on the ZUKZ2 Pro Okay, let's go into the settings one more time uh, and show you the storage available so yeah it's available storage is 51.68 db so yeah i'm still getting used to this zui very uh, different the os is you don't have back keys or uh, like there's no keys here it's just the home key and you also if you long press you get a multitasking view you can swipe up uh, not really sure how it works we're actually getting a zook z2 uh, it's on the way uh, we're going to be unboxing it in India once I'm back. So, but this is something I saw, saw on the tra uh, show here at Mobile World Congress Asia. So, I thought I'll give you guys a glimpse. So, as you can see, it's a little hard to get used to. There's no back button uh, concept. There's only home key, and you long press or double press on this on this uh, home key, you get the multitasking view, and you can also get access to settings from that. And uh, Okay, you can actually do this swiping, I guess. Yeah, so there's something called U Touch, uh, which is a home button customization which can be customized. So, yeah, so that's something which can be done, but still miss a back key coming from a Samsung device right now. Uh, shooting this with the S7 Edge. So, that's the ZUK Z2 Pro from Mobile World Congress. Do it the thumbs up button if you like this video and if you have any questions about this device to ask us in the comments we're actually getting a zoom z2 soon so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching